this um tight stockings i hope you enjoyed this tutorial before we start i'd like to tell you that um i lost my instagram account yeah it has been hacked at um 26 000 followers and i need all my followers back so i've created a new account which i'd like you to follow and if you're new and you've you've not just followed me on instagram do what to follow me and um welcome back to my channel i want you to subscribe to this channel and you never regret it you love my tutorials and you love other videos of crochet turn on your bell give me a like comment below and share to other friends let's start guys so first of all first there's you need um yarn and i'm going to use the yaya yarn from nigeria and uh, it's very thin like a lazy yarn yeah and it's the regular type so it's very thin and i'm going to need some stitch markers um some needle and thread 6s and 3.0 mm hook of course if your yarn is smaller you can use a smaller hook of um 2.5 or 2 mm depending on your yarn okay this work normally works well with a thin yarn yes yeah, so first of all you make your chain and this foundation chain i'm going to chain it and put it around my high waist and i'm going to make it so tight okay so you measure your high waist then you chain according to yes after chaining you join the ends by making a single crochet yeah you put your stitch marker there so that you won't um, miss your starting or your ending point so next of all guys you're going to create this um flower stitches so um before that let's have a single crochet in each of the stitch holes because this one is going to be the base we want our base to be solid so we are making single crochet in each of the stitch holes till we get to where we started from yeah you go to yeah so at the end this is what you have then the next of all you are going to um create the flower and this flower stitch i'll use it twice and this is the tight time i'm using it so you can check out the other videos of this stitch so first of all you chain six and you make a triple crochet into the first stitch hole that you have yeah you chain three you skip four in the fifth you make a single crochet you chain three you skip four in the fifth you make a triple crochet so we are alternating between triple crochets and single crochets then you chain five in the same situation you make a triple crochet let's do that again you make a triple crochet into the same situation you chain three you skip four in the fifth you make a single crochet okay so this is the basics you chain three you skip four in the fifth you make a triple crochet then you chain five into the same situation you make another triple crochet so remember anytime you make a triple crochet you make it twice and you separate it with a five single crochet sorry a five chain so you chain three you skip four in the fifth you make a single crochet so that's what you should be getting so we are always going to chain three and skipping four in the fifth you make so yeah you make a triple crochet the next one is another triple crochet into the same stitch so you chain five then into the same stitch hole you make a triple crochet you chain three you skip four in the fifth you make a single crochet so you make a single crochet you chain three then you make a triple crochet throughout okay so at the end this is what you have 
if i'm moving faster you can check the exclusive video on how to make this stitch and you are good to go yeah so at the end this is what you have now with the second row it's much easier than the first one this time you're going to work in between okay so wherever there is a triple crochet two of the triple crochet we make a single crochet wherever there's a single crochet we make a triple crochet so let's chain our let's have our chain of three one two three then you see the first one we have a single crochet here so we are going to have our triple crochets over here so this is our first triple crochet we chain five then we have our second triple crochet so the triple crochets they move together but you separate it with a chain of five okay so you chain three into the triple crochet you make a single crochet and then here is going to take a triple crochet so you chain three in this one you make a triple crochet you chain five then you make another triple crochet here the next one is a single crochet so you chain three then you make a single crochet into it okay so we are working in the spaces that we have created already so single crochet triple crochet single crochet triple crochet two also you chain three here is going to take triple crochets you chain five another triple crochet to the same stitch hole you chain three then a single crochet comes in between the triple crochets yeah so you're going to do that round till we get to where our stitch marker is that's the beginning or the end of our work right so guys after second row this is what you should be getting and the third row is also like the second row where we are going to make triple crochets where there's single crochet and single crochets so wherever there's triple crochets so we're going to go round and round and round right so after several rows this is what you have and when we get to um seven inches you are going to stop because this yarn is kind of stretchy and can stretch up to 10 inches so so look at this yeah it's very stretchy so when we get to um seven inches you stop if yours is not stretchy like mine just go on to make up to 10 inches so guys now we are going to um divide our piece of work into two so we have six inches here and uh, six inches here okay so you put your stitch markers up both sides of your work to indicate the middle part of your work right so next you're going to chain and this chain is what you're going to use to divide our work so you chain and this one is for size small person so i'm chaining up to um five inches you can do six seven inches depending on how um big you are so i'm going to single crochet to where my stitch marker is okay so this is let's see so i have um five inches yeah yeah so next this one is going to serve as the base so you go round and round one side then you come to the next side so let's do that so this um 
chain is going to be a base a new base line or a new foundation line you can take off your markers but just um leave one just to indicate to show you where you started from okay so now we are going to go through the same thing and this time we're going to go like this round on one side then after that we move on to the next side okay so let's um chain six just like we started with then the first one you make a triple crochet into the next stitch hole you chain three you skip four in the fifth you make a single crochet you chain three you skip four in the fifth you make a triple crochet in the same triple crochet you chain five then you make a triple crochet into the same stitch hole just like we started with okay so this time we are going to go this way then we join it with the ones that we've already done okay so chain five you make a triple crochet okay so now we are back to our old place now you continue with this making it round and round and round round and round and round till you get to um your knee cup okay so right from your thigh to your knee cup you're going to chain make this flower round and round yeah so let's do that okay so this is it after several rows and this from um i told you before from your thighs right from your thighs to um the end of your thighs which is um your knee cup and it depends on you so i've made up to 10 inches and of course because it stretches so it depends on you right so now we are going to um i'm going to teach you how we reduce our work but before that let's do this part of our work okay so this time too we are going to go round and run and starting from where our stitch marker is okay so that will have yeah so it's going to be like this round here round there yeah okay so the same we've done that now let's continue with our work to to the legs you know our leg part is um smaller than her tight so um this time you are going to reduce and this is how we reduce it so where you have your single crochet you are going to skip that triple crochet in the next single crochet you make a single crochet there so you've cut a whole triple crochet from there okay so let's have our flower stitches again so on every third flower that we we'll create with that single crochet we we'll just um skip one um triple crochets then we move on to a single crochet okay so you make a single crochet a triple crochet here triple crochet okay so now i'm going to show you again with this single crochet that you have here sorry let me have my single crochet so with this single crochet that you have here you're going to skip that triple crochet and in the next single crochet you make a single crochet okay this drastically reduces the size of your work so that it will fit your down parts okay so you don't do this too much and i only skip twice okay to reduce it you can skip three times but if you make it too much you to you end up having a small um 
so she way you cannot even put your legs in so you continue with your normal stitches till you get round and round till you get to your ankle right so i skip this part i skip this part and i skip this part so this one you have you can see clearly that it has reduced the sizes has reduced as we got to the legs now i'm going to show you how we are going to create um the part for our foot and to create that you just um, need to have an indication there at the size size so that you know what you are doing so now you're going to just create the stitches at one side instead of going around we are not going to go around like that so we're just going to create it at one side and then time you get to the other side where the stitch marker is you chain one and you turn your work okay so this is our stitch marker so you chain one turn your work don't go the other way around just chain your work and turn your work and chain then you continue making the stitches at the other side yeah so this is so if i'm moving faster here um you can slow it down with your app you can just um check and slow it down and you get it perfectly so you chain and you turn your work again then you continue making the flower at just one side leaving the other side Okay, so you make it four times that's four rules of um, meshes okay mm -hmm. so this what you have at one side you chain you turn your wick you see that the other side has become shorter so you continue with your stitches okay so this uh, work now we are going to join the shorter part and the longer part it's not anything difficult just crochet them together okay so just um, pretend like you've not made this part longer and just move on with your design okay so this time i'm going to go round and round round and round round and round and in doing so joining these two by making round and round you after several rules you realize that um a nice shape has been formed where we can successfully put our foot in okay so you go round and round round and round round and round Okay, so with time you realize that the short part and the longer part has become has been joined together okay so let's do that and at the end you realize that it kind of confusing at this point but hey forget about it and move on and continue with your stitches okay just continue with your stitches and you realize that because one part was shorter and one part is longer um it will create a kind of bigger loop at the side where the stitch marker is but when you see that just use your thread and your needle to um fix that part together to make the um loop or the hole smaller 
okay so that i don't look weird on you okay so you go round and round and round okay so you're going to do this so you get to the length of your feet so you measure from your um two nails to your um yeah measure and find the length of your feet so you go round and round to so you measure from where your stitch marker is to where your photo is you are good to go so guys this time i'm just i'm trying to fix that large loop over there with my thread and needle before i move on making my round and round yeah okay so your stitch markers will indicate where the exact places where you are starting from to your foot okay let's do that so guys this is what we have and this is the measurement from our foot to yeah okay you realize that sometimes we could this no now guys let's fix um let's see the ends with that thread and needle as well and this time you're going to um do it inside so that um our stitches will not be showing from the outside so you make it in the inside and you join them together with your thread and needle when you're done you do the same for the other side of your work going round and round and round and when you are done you just fix it with your needle and you are good to go this stitch makes a beautiful work okay so you can use it for any outfit that you want so guys at the end this is what you have let's put it on and see if this place is too loose for you you can um have a chain and use it for tying your legs so guys wait so guys this is what you have isn't this beautiful yeah i hope you try your hands on this one and prepare for next year's summer guys if you are still watching this tutorial i hope you enjoy enjoyed it and um, subscribe if you've not yet subscribe turn on your notification bell give me a like comment share Guys, I'll see you in my next video.